because I spent years in orthodontia. <laughs> Good morning, it's Friday, and I thought I'd take y'all along on my day. My coffee has been brewed. It is, what time is it? It's like seven o'clock now, so it's been ready for like 15 minutes. Um, yeah, so let's get going. I've got some plans for the day. Like, I need to go get groceries, probably in the mid-afternoon. I also need to go and like get some experiments set up and do some writing and I've got a date tonight which will be exciting. I thought I'd use a mug that I have not used in god probably since vlogmas but also part of that part of the problem the fact that I had been traveling off and on beforehand like before and after vlogmas a lot so I was barely in my apartment. I have finished my Wordle, my connections, and mini crossword, and also the like easy Sudoku. I'm about to finish up this cup of coffee and then get the next, and then make like oatmeal, I think, for myself. Uh, right now I'm more just annoyed because I was checking some of the videos I'd made, and like random stuff gets copyright claimed, which is annoying, because it's something new this time that I'm like, okay, I think I know what part it got claimed. I'm not sure, and I don't know if it's going to affect other ones. It's pretty much just like a crapshoot, honestly, to see whether or not things are going to get claimed, which is kind of frustrating. And I also just need to figure out a better background music, I think, for a lot of my stuff. And like have a list of what gets copyright claimed and what doesn't. I am dressed. Hair has been brushed. I may put it up in some, like, a ponytail later. And uh, at least sunscreen, like skincare, sunscreen, teeth have been brushed. I need to make sure my teeth look at least decent. I mean, they're still stained, but like, I'm going on a date with an oral like surgeon intern. So I'm like, don't look at the teeth. Don't look at the staining, but like, look at how straight they are. Cause I spent years in orthodontia. I'm finally starting to do some work. Initially I thought I was gonna do like work at a coffee shop, but then I decided against it because I was looking at kind of my like expenses and playing a little bit of a game of like making sure things align with when I get paid and when things are due on my credit card. And I was like, yeah, no, let's let's not do that. So I'm just gonna drink I'm in the process of drinking another cup of coffee. Um, this one I added some of the chocolate syrup that I'd had honestly got from Christmas time. Uh, I used up most of the other syrups, but I still have the chocolate. Sorry, I'm trying to move things. The chocolate and the uh, macadamia nut? I think that's the other one. Those two I need to use up because I'm trying to use things up. And then breakfast, because again, I did not want to cook and I didn't really want to eat oatmeal today, was fruit snacks and applesauce because why not? Work is coming along. It's just getting some compiling results that I've been meaning to compile for a bit. Uh, just working through my coffee and then also listening to the canceled podcast because I'd seen some of the clips of it beforehand um, or I guess it's called just canceled with Tana uh, Mojo I have never really been a Tana Mojo fan but I had seen the stuff involving Alyssa Violet which I was like my god I had not heard that name in years I was like why does she sound so familiar and then I realized um, and I'd seen the clips of it and I was like you know what Let's watch it. From all that I've seen, Tana generally does not seem as crazy as she once was. Makes sense, like, we're actually the same age. I was gonna do a video about that. And it's like, yeah, we've been on the internet long enough to kind of just like mellow out a bit. And we understand the idea of having a digital put footprint a lot more. And that's been kind of always part of our thought process, which I do find kind of interesting. I've been so annoyed with the like internet in my apartment right now. Yesterday it was out for like seven hours. And then right now I've been in the process of downloading my results from the supercomputer and thing like it just completely gave out. And I could see it was like struggling on my phone. And then like I got the notification and I don't know where I was on the download. So I'm gonna have to go back through cause I'd had a fun bunch of like experiments finish overnight. And I'm like, 
You've got to be kidding me. This is so frustrating because I am just in, I have too many things going on today that I can't or I, not that I can't but I don't want to go onto campus because I have to account for like the commute in there and that's just not what I want to deal with right now. I have got my breakfast or not breakfast lunch ready to go as I mentioned I've been working on also saving money besides also trying to lose weight but it's kind of a do one or the other and I mean eggs which this is it's tacos um, breakfast tacos effectively are pretty low calorie. I also was able to finally finish up the milk that I had so I can buy more milk and not have it take up a lot of space in my fridge. Have I gotten a lot of work done? Not really, but I have gotten some. I'm about to go get groceries and then like go and do more work here. There are some experiments that like have finished and they finally like didn't know. Not that I am mincing over my words and stumbling over my words a lot, but the big thing is that like the VPN that I have to use to get onto the supercomputer finally was staying connected, so that was good. Well, my date uh, gave me a rain check, so whoop de doo on that. I weirdly had a feeling, like it was going to get cancelled. I had just texted him, like, hey, what time? And he was effectively up for 30 hours because he's oral surgeon intern please if somebody in the comments knows more about that tell me if he is fully just bsing me or it is true i'm kind of like i don't know because like i could see it being a thing like especially at some sort of like trauma center that they would have oral surgeons on call but i just don't no, and that was like one of those things I was gonna talk to him about, ask him about, but like I can't right now. Maybe if we go out later, sure, but I have no idea. Have I done anything? No, because I've been in such a slump because just ha the wind got knocked out of me with the uh, date getting canceled, and then I texted one of my friends to be like, hey, do you want to do something tonight? Like, you and one of our other friends want to do something tonight and she was like yeah sure and we initially had one plan and the other friend texted me being like hey can we actually do the one plan the night tomorrow and then like only do like half and half effectively because they were going to be running a 3k which but then so at least i'm going to go out and be there while they do the race which will be exciting and all that and we'll probably then walk over to get ice cream i don't know for sure but like that's kind of what's the thought process and then going over to mirror twin tomorrow possibly i don't know the specifics because i still need to actually ask one of my friends about like some of the logistical stuff with like helping her move because she's moving tomorrow and i offer to like help and i'm thinking it's just going to be moving her stuff into the u-haul i don't know if she needs help getting stuff out of the u-haul because if that's the case i don't know what the plan is Okay, so I'm at the grocery store. I'm about to go in. I also stopped by the library because I had a book on reserve, so I picked it up. Um, so this is the book, The Shift. I saw it at, like, Paper Source, and I was curious about it, so they had it at the library. And the other book, so I can have it for Vlogmas probably, is A December to Remember. So I'll read that, too, and just take notes and probably record a review on it before I return it. I will show y'all what I got when I get home, but I actually was able to save a total of $8.69, which was a total of 13%, which was great. And I pretty much stuck to exactly what my, um, what's its face, uh, grocery list was. I think the only thing I added was maybe the laughing cow cheese stuff, but I think everything else, oh, and the eggs, everything else was like already on my list, which was really good on me for staying within what I had actually put on my list. And then I'm also going to get more points because some of the stuff would a little check off on um, fetch also, which I do have fetch rewards. Let me show you all that I got. First thing, seltzer water. Uh, this is the pineapple coconut. I decided to try it. It was limited edition. They still have like a couple of them in stock at that one. They had these last summer, but I had only, they were only there for like a week or two. And then I saw them again. So I picked it up because I love pineapple coconut I'm like hit or miss on, but why not try it? As I mentioned before, call power. This one I was able to get for like six bucks instead of like 10. So I was like, yes, I'm doing this. Basic produce. I got bread because I'm thinking of just making sandwiches instead of the tortillas for a while. Because uh, this is like about the same amount of calories. It's whole wheat. So it's good for my health. 
And then also, I picked up a dozen eggs. I have like six left and I can just cook through them pretty quickly. Next, I've got celery, just like celery sticks so I can snack on that. Have that for part of my lunches and bananas so I can have that with my oatmeal. Continuing on, I've got some dairy. I've got 1% milk. I just always grew up drinking 1% and I got the normal instead of the ultra pasteurized because this was only $1.29. And so I'll just make a bunch more stuff with milk in it. I think one of the things I plan on making this week is like a hamburger helper thing that requires a lot of milk. So this is perfect. So I can just use it up before it goes bad. And then as I keep on mentioning, I eat a lot of these laughing cow cheese slices, the light version, because they're only 25 calories per wedge, which is great. Last bit on the produce, I've got two gala apples, some baby carrots, and some blueberries. I've got an idea for what I want to do with the blueberries. I want to make blueberry muffins and that'll also probably be actually in a video, but I'll get to that later. And lastly, the things that get me the most on the Fetch Rewards, but also I do really enjoy are the Kodiak muffins. One is the chocolate chip, the other one is the blueberry. Love them. And then also, as you all see, I made a lot of lar bars because they are pretty good, pretty healthy, not crazy high in calories. and. Just something great to either snack on or have kind of as breakfast because Chelsea, I'm not always the best about eating breakfast. I should have recorded earlier. All I did was get some work done. The experiments that had finished, sent off new ones, found a mistake in one of them. I don't know where that mistake would come from, but there was a mistake in it. And so now I am just heading over to hang out with the friends. Um, for a long time, I thought it was supposed to be closer to like nine. Turns out it was like seven <laughs> when I was supposed to be going over to meet up with them uh, and I had like a drink from the uh, screwball and then I was like oh god I gotta sober up quick like I wasn't drunk even but I was like I just don't want to have anything in my system really so yeah I was snacking a lot and I was just also getting frustrated because like again I was annoyed about this date because I was looking forward to it and this guy did not ask for like any sort of nudes or anything, which I am very much like, I have a blanket thing of, I don't do that kind of stuff. And this guy actually didn't. And cause it's been so annoying that I always get asked this. And my mom was like, oh, it must be so hard for boys to like, for men to be dating now. And I was like, it is a hell escape here as a woman. And you're feeling bad for the men. Okay. Yeah, yeah I can see the second wave feminism mom um yeah okay so i am here and yeah just about to walk over to the park and try to find my friends so i'll probably just hold their stuff while they run their 3k and then we'll walk over to get ice cream or whatever because this is being sponsored by one of the local ice cream shops i've had a lot of ice cream from local shops this week because i also went to this place called freshly which I'd never been to before, but my friend who I was hanging out with was like, oh, let's go, because they had a lot of vegan ice creams, and she's lactose intolerant, so she prefers the vegan stuff, because she then knows it doesn't have dairy. I have really been dropping the ball. Um, so I went to watch the race, and I walked to actually a portion of that area. It was very, it's a very lovely area um, with my friends, and they ran it, and actually I knew all of the guys that got the top for a, uh, ages 24 or 24 to 29 something like that uh they were like my friend my friend's boyfriend uh, not the same like I, there was multiple friends um there was guy friend girlfriend one boyfriend and then one of my colleagues uh so that was all kind of fun um also while i was there i ran into uh some family friends who i'd not seen in probably two three years um and they were running because like the son was as a student here and saw the dad and it was the thing is I first saw the son and then I was like okay sure and then I saw the dad and then it turns out that one of the daughters was also there and I was chatting with them for a little bit I'm still generally just kind of in a mood because I'm so annoyed about this date being rain checked and it's not it's because a I'm just trying to get out there more and b like the reason that annoyed me is he did not come up with an alternative if he had come up with an alternative I'd I would not have been so upset, but he did not have an alternative at all. So I was just annoyed and it just really mm, irked me. And then this other guy I've been talking to a bit, he had made a comment of like, he'd seen my profile before on Tinder. And I was just like, eh. like, he's like, oh, is that weird? I'm like, yeah, 
a little bit. Uh, we're still chatting a bit, but I'm just like weary. So tomorrow will probably be busy and I'll try to vlog it too and tonight. But yeah, I'm just, I'm so frustrated because also my middle sister has been asking me so much about my defense and I just feel like a failure. I have just been rotting at home. I still need to get a shower. God, I've been thinking through conversations and just not trusting myself and God, I always do that to myself of like questioning every little interaction and I'm just not in a great headspace right now. I've mostly just been watching TikToks and those are listening to mostly AI created like Reddit stories because sometimes they are like old stories. Other times they like weirdly recount a story that is an older one from a different perspective and it's all just like, hmm. Okay, I can tell this is fake. I finally got my shower, so I'm about to head to bed. I, this was kind of a rough day for me and I'm just beating myself up about so many different conversations I've had, but it's been a day. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.